What's up, underrated ski? Underrated Mo in the building. What's up, underrated E in the building? And we on be more best riders podcast. Underrated episode right here, man. It's gonna be lit. So we're gonna start with skeet, man. Take it take it from the beginning, man. When you start with the bikes. Man, I started probably when I was about I started a little eight a little late. I started probably like fifteen. Riding with my cousins. My cousins was into it. Cousin Bert, cousin Moo. First bike, I'm um, eighty five. It's like Ever since then, I just been in love with him. Like, just, just eat. Like, that's all I think about is bikes. Come <laughs> so, up. Mm-hmm. When you jump out there, you the youngest in the camp. Yeah, I think. I came out here when I was about like six five. My first bike was a, uh, it was like a little Chinese bike. Ain't nothing too crazy. I had two of my just got for Christmas twenty eighteen. Yeah, ever since then, I've really been in the field. Okay. E? Yeah. My first bike I had, I, I started riding when I was eight. My first bike I had was, like I think it was a P-Dub 50. And then ever since then, I just started riding and getting nice. I started riding with my brother, underrated uh, Mark. And then we just started growing together and started getting nice. It all came from us being down at Carroll Park, though. That's where everything started happening. We started getting the falls in, started getting nice. Then as we progressed, we got bigger bikes and then we got nicer. Okay, okay. Back back to uh, Ski. Top five. Can you do a top five dead or alive? Yeah, uh, number one, I'm taking Long Live Sean Sean. Okay. Number two, I'm going to put Lord Dave in there. They're the two that's not alive. Then alive, my, my top five, I'm putting Biker Boy Dre. I'm going to take Biker Boy Sean. And I'm going to take myself. Niggas, some niggas yeah. ain't gonna like that, but I respect put myself that. in it. I respect it. <laughs> well, that's top five. My top five really. Biker Boy Sean, Jesse, he's from uh, Connecticut, uh, Greek, Dev, and TJ. E? Mine's Biker Boy Sean, Greek, Chino, Corey, and, uh, and Dev. Okay, okay. If you could s- tell me your swag on a bike, how you? What you think your swag on a bike is right now? See, <clears throat> I don't really be riding like that, so I'm probably put my swag at like a seven and a half. But when I get my bag, it's a twenty, straight up, okay. straight twenty. Okay. My my swag on a bike, I rate it probably like a cool five six because like I'm just now really started learning how to one hand, no hand jump. Jump to the Superman, jump down, so I'll rate by the five or six. Yeah, I ain't riding a minute, but my swag, when I had my 150, when it was actually not locked up, my swag was pretty good. It was like a six. Especially when I was in that mood. When I was in that mood, it was a cool little seven. Go to trip. Number one trip. My favorite trip is one handed. That's my favorite trip. What? Go ahead. Go ahead. My favorite trip is Superman. No hand and one-handed. My favorite trick is a one-hand Superman uh, and uh, what's it called, one-handed. Okay, okay. Favorite bike, go-to bike, or oh, let's say dream bike. If you had a bike up in your living room right now, what bike would that be? If you know me, you know me. KX100, 2021. Mm. My go-to bike, Sierra F150 or KX100 or YZ85. YZ two fifty or YZ one twenty five. So y- y- y'all 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 um 
Y'all fuck with the motocross and the supercross? Y'all, y'all, y'all yeah, that? I, I, been in, I was in that. I was into it when I was a kid. But then once I got, like, I started saying niggas willy, I just Change. gravitated to the willy. Mm-hmm. Like, but I mean, I do the jumps and shit. I ain't hitting no flips or the like, yeah, see, hang that's halfway that, off the bike. Yeah, that's that X Games shit tricks. right like, there. Like, that's that tricks. Nitro Circus shit right I there. I ain't doing all that extra. But you know what? They talk about niggas riding on the street. Them niggas get fucked up all the time. What? Every time. It's Every always time. And I like the racing, too. I do the racing. Yeah, I was I just watching the Supercross. Uh, nigga, Eli. Eli Tomac. That's one of my favorite riders. He just fucked his leg. Right, see, I'm a little, I'm a little older. Fucking Travis Pastrana. Pastrana. He called legend. Michael. Yeah, legends. All right. Yeah. Supercross, motocross. Have I thought about <laughs> it? Oh, I had thought about it when I was like... When I first got when I first got my first bike, but like like 2020 Christmas when I got my KX65, it just got rebuilt. Uh, my grandfather had brought me basically like a little recent kit with the gloves and with the uh, shirt and uh, pants. But I was just really focused on riding on the street for real. Hell yeah, me, I was always like, cause with me, I was always watching it when I was a kid. Cause at first like, I used to watch people ride dirt bikes and stuff, but then, as the older I got, I learned about that people that willy dirt bikes and stuff. So that really took my attention away from the motocross and stuff like that. But yeah, I always thought about doing it. I still think about doing it to this very day. Okay. okay. Now, if I wasn't from Baltimore, I'm out of town. Can you tell them how important bike life and how just how passionate people is about bike life here in the city? Man, like, bike life, like, with me, with my experiences with it, like... All I could do is like all I could do is think about is riding. Like, I ain't on a bike. I'm thinking about bikes, looking at bikes. Like on a bike, you get on that bike, it's a whole different feeling. Like you just don't think about nothing. Like you could be having the worst day ever. You get on that bike, it's like the best day ever. Same thing that he was saying. Like when you get on a bike, it's a different feeling. Like it just makes you happy. Like put you in a great place. Like, if you're in a bad mood, like, something just happened in your life, like, if you get on a bike, it's gonna make you happy because you're gonna see people that, like, that you haven't seen in a long time, make new friends, all that. I think bike life is just, like, it's just everything. It brings connection, it brings happiness. Like, when you hop on a bike, just like what he's saying, when you hop on a bike, all your problems and everything go away. You just worrying about in traffic, just cutting up and having fun. Or anybody you want to call out on a friendly friendly little battle or anything? Or anybody calling you out? Nah, uh, I don't want no smoke with nobody right now. We gotta get back. When I get back in that field, field, yeah. It's a couple names, but I ain't gonna drop them. Mm, like, it's a few people calling me out from, like, to, like, Buddy. Makes you like, but people I'm personally calling, I'm calling about One Way Law, man, Baby D Blocks, and probably like, and Buddy. That's why everybody that I really want bad. I'm trying to keep up, stay out the mix. See, with me, is people calling me out when I don't have a bike. When I had a bike, nobody was calling me out. So when I first come back out, Ellen D Barry, and, uh, and probably just Buddy. That's really it for real. Okay. You got, you got a pack story? Or, or, or just uh, for somebody that's not from here, how, how, what's that feeling riding in the pack? Man, that pack feeling is another different feeling. But you got to watch out for the worms. Like, you got to watch. One thing, you got to watch your surroundings. Like, is any, it can happen to the best. Like, I ain't going to just say the worms. Like, because the, the, best, the best even be worming out sometimes. You just got to watch your surroundings and don't play with them colors and them lights. That's one thing. Do not play with them. Basically, like, if you fish your first time riding in a pet, you won't be called a worm. You might get your bike took at the gas station or something. Because, like, you not want to know, like, when they come, the helicopter might get on you. You just be like, oh, yeah, this is just a helicopter. There's going to be more colors following the street behind it. So, like, it's just, like, people get their bike took almost every day. But hell yeah, like he was saying, like you gotta be on point for the police because half the time bikes really get took at the gas station. When people go in there and they try to get uh gas on the pump, straight go back out and they bike be took. 
police be right there. So you gotta be on the lookout for everything. Okay. Okay, while we still on you, you talk about the police. You got any chase stories? Any wild chase stories? Oh my god, yes, we do. Um, just what was this? Two right, weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks ago. Oh mm-hmm. my god, we coming out. Right here. We coming out, we coming outside, you know, me and Mark, my brother, we always come outside. We come outside, we start the bikes up, you feel me? We in that mode, we ready to go to the little park up his way or whatever. So boom, dropping it back, chilling, you feel me? I tried Superman, I was Superman in the right, and a car cut in front of me, and I tried, I tried to go down on the knee, and I fell. The boys come straight behind me, black turn, trucks. Like, black truck, oh, he like, bro, bro, get up, get up, I get up, right? I see the boys right there, I hop on a bike. So at first he tried to pick Jack on me. I was laughing at him the whole time. He tried to pick Jack on me the first time. Mm, the second time he tried to cut me off when I was going to go down the downhill. I was kicking it. Then I look at him like this. I see that curve, I get on the curve, I cut the bike on it, then we just go back around my way. My chase story, it was me, it was me, WJZ, and this nigga Shazzy. We went out to Tulsa Mall one time on a bike. I don't know where we was on, we would just ride. Talk about all, basically almost all the police cars just jumped on me on a pitch black road. All oh, the county boy. Uh huh. On a pitch black pitch road. Trooper. Yeah, state trooper jump, jump behind me. I'm the last person because everybody else in front of me. I got the, I'm on a smallest back on the city fire. Everybody else on the 150, 100, 112. So I straight get nervous. Then we go back to the city. You made it out that shit. So ski, I agree. Munch. Ride with a few bikes. We ride over east. The bird chase. The bird just singled me out. I'm on the KS100. This probably happened about like this happened in 2020. I was on some turkey shit, like for real. They chased me from over east all the way out security, Martin's West. But they got to the point where though I was like, fuck this bike. Put the bike in the woods and got out of there. Like they got the bike, but they didn't get me. That was one of. I don't really get chased. So that was like my only real chase. Like, yeah, I definitely folded on that one. <laughs> worst fall, you ever had to the worst fall? Man, worst accident I ever had. It was in 2014, I got hit by a car. I was in a coma for for about a week. As soon as I got to the hospital, I was back on a bike. A day later, cast in the arm, can't bend my knee, barely can see. But yeah, that was the one of the worst accidents. My worst accident, this was probably like like four weeks ago. I was riding in a pack. Just, I, we was going over east to uh, Morgan State. A little party, a little party. We, I'm, I lift up. I'm start turning. I guess the wind had took me. Then I tried to the brakes. The brakes ain't work. Then I slid. I slid up the street. On my, uh, on my knee. Mm. Cherry that nigga, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alright, my worst one was I was gonna go see my father. I was coming from my house, or whatever. And then I seen the lady. I was on the phone though. I had the phone in my hand. The lady seen me, right? She she was looking at me the whole time. So the lady, when I got like halfway right there, she sped up and she hit me and I broke my foot. So you like like she hit you on purpose? I, yeah, for real. She hit me on purpose. She was hating. She straight Talking seen about me. hating. You know, since I've been running the page, like them crackers be on there hating, man. What, why y'all think it's a whole bunch of hate like that? I, I feel weird though. It's like, because we don't ride with helmets and we street ride. We ain't too much on a... We ain't treating it like a dirt bike. Like, yeah. we, put them, we ain't putting them on the dirt. We put them on the streets. But that's where we come from. Like, I feel like this ain't like them skateboarders yeah. that be at the malls. and uh, They not at a skate park. Exactly. You feel? There ain't nobody telling like throwing hate on them or nothing. And they don't be having yeah, helmets and, and knee nope. pads and, and elbow None pads. Of that, like, <laughs> definitely <laughs> don't. Why you think it's hate, Mark? One reason I think it's hate is because like we like the pack when they go down like a hub the federal hill, we basically making so much noise and it'd be like probably like twelve or ten o'clock in the in the afternoon. They probably be trying to go to sleep, so that's probably like Having the time they want to call the police, they want to try to head us off our bike, stuff like that. I think it's hate because, like, when it's a lot of bikes in traffic, we do tend to stop traffic, but all the bikes can go through. And just in general, like, people just don't like the culture of bike life. Like, some people like it, and some people hate it because of how we ride. That's so, on the reason. what y'all think the future of Baltimore bike life is? Start you the future of Baltimore bike life? 
right here. I'm stamping that, like, 10 toes on it. Underrated Mark is a future bike now. Um, Nick, l and Nick, can't got throw him in there. Yeah, throw nice. Barry in there. Got my man, underrated E over here. But he a little, he a little older, but yeah. he's still one of the ones. Yeah. My future is going to be like kids, probably like around my age, probably like a little younger, already probably like getting nice, probably like one one hand and stuff like that. Yeah. I think the future is him, like like Steve was saying, him, Bari, and I'm gonna say Nick, and uh, and one way lower man, uh, baby D blocks and me. Okay. I'm gonna give y'all a little uh, a little sneak peek of what I'm what I'm thinking the future gonna be. I'm really trying to start a racing team. Racing team? You feel me? A street yeah, racing yeah. team, get riders, NIL deals, you feel me? Yeah, man. So you making money and not just you know you right. doing something you love. Niggas yeah. get fucked up on the streets, niggas getting niggas down on bikes, niggas niggas ain't making no money off of bikes right now, you feel me? So it's time, it's time, you feel me? A chain over the door, you feel me? It's a couple other riders, you know, these stunt riders and stuff like that. But it's a real small percentage. So I just want to give riders the, you know, just to monetize this shit, you feel me? Like love what you're doing and be able to take care of what you need to take care of. Yeah. Go ahead, drop your socials. Underrated Ski. Underrated Muck. Underrated E. And this is the underrated episode.